G'day gang, Sam Marwood here from Cultivate Farms, episode 33 of our Cultivate Farms TV, where we take you behind the scenes of everything we're doing to get you onto your dream farm. I'm here in Melbourne, got a few meetings uh, scheming how to get you onto your farm quicker, uh, running around town, having a bit of a break to give you this update. I hope you find it really useful. The main point of this is to pump you up, that it is absolutely possible for you to get on your farm. Uh, there are some amazing things happening. So please listen in uh, as you go around and around on your tractor or you're at work um, dreaming about quitting and starting your own farm. Uh, so we're going to talk about lifetime discounted membership. We're going to talk about crowdfunding your farm. It's going to be a reality very, very soon and finding your own investors, much more. So Every week, give you an update on how many aspiring farmers we've got. We have 198. We're nearly at the 200 mark, the magical 200 mark. It is awesome. We've had 10 more this week. Uh, thanks to those who have signed up, you beautiful, beautiful people. Uh, keep signing up because we need you to help us to help you onto your farm. The more people signed up, more momentum we've got, uh, uh, and uh, the more doors will open for us and for you to get you onto your farm. Uh, so your support is helping us to build a social movement. Uh, we do believe that if we have this momentum of you aspiring farmers, it is just going to open lots of doors, which is why I keep harping on every week for you guys to sign up. We need you uh, on board so the investors, communities, retiring farmers can realise that what we're doing is the best and we are going to get you guys onto farms and help rejuvenate communities. So um, please do sign up. We are aiming for this 200 mark. Most of those are free memberships and we'd love you to, um, to uh, pay and I'll announce something just in a second around what that is and why it was, is well worth your hard-earned money uh, to sign up. Um, we will also be launching a farm marketplace uh, early next year and we'll have 15 farms pitched offline uh, to investors by the end of the year to test the process. So these things together, so the 200, the online marketplace and uh, at 15 farms pitch together we're going to hit the media and go nuts and show that we have something here that is going to help thousands of aspiring farmers across the country um so, so yeah please please uh, sign up so lifetime discounted membership it is it's not loaded on the website just yet but next week and i'll let, announce as soon as possible work, but i want to give you guys the insight that um, the membership is going to be around 400 dollars next year that means you can pitch your farm to an investor It'll be free to go in the sand pit phase where you can develop your proposal but it'll cost you a minimum of 400 dollars to get it pitched we are going to offer that for 150 bucks to anyone who signs up now and then between now and then and that's for life 150 dollars a year for life um, so we want need you guys to sign up we'd love to see if that's of value to you if it is, please sign up so we can build momentum. And it helps us to fund the upgrade of the website um, and to keep things moving along. So I want to let you know about that. We would love your support in doing it. If you already have paid up, that means you've got lifetime access. So everyone's already paid up already. You will get it. Um, so, yeah, please jump on and have a look at that. Progress with the marketplace for pitching. We are developing the template right now for pitching. We're going to refine it over time, but we've got a template which will handle these 15 farms that we're going to test. Uh, and they'll get cracking over the next month or so. In order to pitch to a room, a room of investors, we'll sit down with them and go through each of these proposals one by one mid-December and use that to update the process. So that is how it's unfolding. Um, we've got that review meeting. We're booking that in at the moment. Um, and part of that will be updating the website. So there'll be a form, basic forms online, which, which we'll be launching next year that anyone will be able to submit, click button and have it in front of investors the next day. So why we're pumped about this is because it puts the power into your hands. At the moment, you guys are sitting there wishing you had money. Uh, and now we're saying these farms need to be pulled together, proposals pulled together by you. They will be developed by farmers uh, and put in front of investors and uh, working with retiring farmers. And that like, feels like a complete 180 to how things are working at the moment, um, where investors have the control over the farms uh, or the opportunities and those with the land at the moment have the opportunities. Uh, in front of them but now we're saying everyone needs great farmers and you're it so you need to be the ones driving this which means all the opportunities in your hands it's all about what you how hard you want to work and how big you want to dream and how much work you want to put in to put these proposals together but it is putting the power into your hands which is why we're so excited by this marketplace concept of pitching uh, investors people ask us who are investors and how do you get access to them and I guess through this marketplace we're developing we want to open up the the number and types of investors out there. They could be anybody, anyone with spare cash uh, out there can now be an investor and people say how much do they want as a return and, and we don't know how much somebody who might want uh, for a return on a farm. Some people might want a lot, some people might want a little. And the main point is that we want you guys to pull proposals together and see what the market says. Someone might back you into an amazing farm for a small return just because they love you. Uh, who knows? Uh, let's, and that's, I guess, again, why we love the, 
uh, marketplace. So ideas around who these investors can be are high net worth individuals, which we've always been talking about, but this could also be family. Your family might have money or your parents might want to back you. You yourself will be an investor into this with your savings. Uh, banks will, will love what we're doing in the marketplace. So they'll you know, have 30%, 50% uh, of the, the, um, the, the property, uh, which makes it easy for you as well. You only need to raise 50% equity. Um, the crowd, crowdfunding, I'll talk about something in a second about this, but the crowd is coming and they will love to invest and back you guys. Your customers, so people who buy your produce will want to buy into your farm. Retiring farmers themselves will want to keep some equity into the property. Retired farmers may want to back you in their farm and support local aspiring farmers in their community. Other community members who want a good investment in, and want to invest local will want to back you and even your friends. So there's there's a bunch of different people out there who could be investors and uh, who are we to say they can't? Let's just give them opportunities. Uh, so keep, get a big list of all the people you know that who could be potential investors and keep buttering them up and letting them know what you want to do and that you're going to be a farmer and then the, a proposal is coming soon. Do your homework and get out there and get people fired up. So crowdfunding farms, it is going to happen. We are talking to a crowdfunding platform right now. I'll reveal details very soon. They are pumped with what we're doing at Cultivate Farms. This means we could have a steady supply of money coming in from people all over Australia who want to back aspiring farmers and support retiring farmers to transition. So the money is going to be sitting there waiting for you guys to pitch. So there's the crowd is right there. That's, not, that's on top of just standard traditional investors and people that you can bring in as well. So it's going to happen. It is going to happen. And we're so pumped. We've always talked about crowdfunding um, and it's um, just around the corner, guys. I can't wait to reveal that to you. Um, I don't know if I'm expressing my face enough of how big this can be and it's going to be, but it is big, so get, uh, get excited. So get thinking about your pitch and what farm you want to pitch and keep re-looking at the markets and take, talking to retiring farmers. You need to find a farm um, because you'll be able to get onto it if you work hard enough. Um, there will be people out there who want to back you and invest in you. So in, in that light, I'm, I want to understand what is holding you back. We did a video the other day just trying to get people fired up and you guys fired up because there really isn't anything holding you back anymore other than your mindset. And that's what it feels like with our experience of chatting to a lot of aspiring farmers. It's, are you ready? Uh, are you ready to move? Are you ready to pick your family up and, and go for it? Are you prepared to, to quit your job? Uh, have you got the skills? Um, is it that you're worried that your family might think you're a bit weird wanting to be a farmer or your parents or your friends? Like, Figure out what's holding you back and try and find ways to eliminate it because uh, it's all in front of us right now, guys. The next six months need you, your, head, your head space cleared and you thinking clearly about how you're going to make your farming dreams happen because it's all possible. Um, so again, just get pumped up. I, I can't emphasize that enough. Things are going to be happening. So talking about farm opportunities, we've got a, a bunch of them right now, and we're updating the website, so you'll be able to see them hosted on the website, which is a good idea, and we should have done it a while ago, but uh, it's all just <laughs> happening now. Uh, so we'll have them loaded up soon. Any farm opportunity, and there's going to be about 25, three retiring farmers coming up <coughs> over the next maybe one month or two before Christmas. Uh, and we'll put expressions of interest out there, and uh, if you guys are interested in these farms, we'll match you with these retiring farmers, and you can go have a chat with them around how to get onto the farm with them. So one is a, a pathway opportunity in northeast Victoria. Awesome farmers. Uh, it's a job, but they will back you onto your own farm if you are good enough. So please reach out for that one. North of Albany, WA mixed farmer, uh, farming operation. Um, that is a very cool opportunity as well. And also a very similar sort of operation northwest of the Otways in Victoria. And then Northern Territory, we've got actually a couple of uh, opportunities in the um, horticulture space, if anyone is interested in that. I haven't revealed details on that, but it will be up very soon. So guys, get excited. Uh, life is good. Your dreams of becoming a farmer are absolutely a reality. Um, we are about to prove it uh, over the next few months. So yeah, sit down over dinner. Uh, catch up with your accountant. Talk to whoever you need to to get yourself ready uh, because being a farmer is now possible for anyone. Uh, speak soon, guys. Mm -hmm.